Hi, Angie here from makingmayhem.blogspot.com, designing for Globe Craft and Piccolo. Today I have an altered postcard using embossing enamels, 3D enamel gel, and the leftover bits from some piccolos. To start off, I've got um, a gessoed piece of cardstock cut to postcard size. And I just started spritzing some colors. So the first color was Adirondack Color Wash and Cranberry. This one is um, Tattered Angels chalkboard paint or chalkboard spray in banana pudding. And I just randomly sprayed it on there. Chose three colors to work with to start. And then the next color is another Glimmer Mist in chalkboard. The color is called Peacock. And of course, if you don't have these colors, you should just choose any colors that, um, that you might have on hand, or you can make your own with refills. There's lots of YouTube videos on that. So after I've sprayed it, I kind of looked it over, decided I needed some more colors, so I got a Heidi Swap Color Shine out in Citron, just to add a little bit more. And as you can see, the color just kind of pulls in the middle, and once it gets to a point where you, where you think you like the color mix... Uh, go ahead and start drying it with a heat tool. As you dry it with the heat tool, the color will migrate and it will move and um, it will lighten. As you can see here, I had a lot of color on my card on my cardstock, and so when it blew off with the heat gun, I just went ahead and had an extra piece of gesso a postcard, so I just stuck it under there to catch the color and to start the layer on that card. So just keep drying it. Um, you can let it air dry. It just takes a lot longer. The nice thing about drying with the heat tool is you can kind of control um, where it is and how much color is going to be concentrated in that area. So I was getting tired of drying it with the heat tool, so I just flipped it over and pressed off some of the extra color to the, the adjusted card underneath. Okay, so here I have a piece of scrap bubble wrap. I've just spritzed it with plain water. Some sprays, um, such as the Adirondack Color Washes, are made to migrate with water when you add water. So um, you can see here, it's like magic. You press the bubble wrap with the water down, you pull it off, you heat it with the heat tool, and you've got more interest to your piece. So now I'm going to use some Liquitex Gesso. Just adding another layer to the can uh, to the postcard, so I just put a couple of drops. As you can see, that's just the inner piece to a roll of scotch tape. We just dipped it and stamped with it. So as you can see, found items are really great for doing this kind of layering. So these circles are pretty bright white, so I decided to take a baby wipe and kind of sponge off a little bit of that color so they wouldn't be quite as stark. And the gesso is great because it picks up a little bit of the color wash from underneath. Something else I like to do is that, do you remember that postcard that had some of the color wash leaked on it? Um, I went ahead and used that to kind of wipe up my craft mat area too. And like I said, that'll make just an interesting layer to start with. So here now I've got some of the Piccolo 3D enamel gel, fabulous stuff. It's metallic gold. Um, I just went ahead and opened up the container and used a popsicle stick to stir it and then I just took a little bit out and as you can see in the next few seconds here that it takes very little to get the look that you want. Now remember the color wash um, is going to migrate a little bit when you add this because this is water based um, but that's okay I really like the look. This is going to kind of add kind of a gilded edge to your postcard. Okay so now we're going to stamp. Um, here I've got the Piccolo enamel um, adhesive, so um, don't squeeze the bottle. The lid will pop off when it's upside down if you squeeze too hard. So you're just going to gently tap it onto your stamp. Um, make sure that you cover it really well. The en enamel powders, the enamel um, embossing powders are pretty chunky, so you want to make sure that you've got enough adhesive on your stamp for the powders to stick to. So make sure that you press really well, making sure that you get a good contact with your postcard from underneath. And then you're going to go ahead and sprinkle on your powders. For the butterfly, we're going to use 
the embossing powder in Temple Stone, which is a really great mix of white and black and gold with kind of this like silvery gray sheen. Okay, so the next step is to use vintage copper embossing enamel to emboss the word fly. And then go ahead and heat it and melt it. So once you've done that, you're going to get an oil pastel in black. I've used the Pentel brand and outlined the butterfly and the word fly. And then just kind of rub it with your finger. And as you can see in this, in this picture here, you kind of got this black shadow. We'll talk more about that in a sec. So use the Distress ink in Vintage Photo to give the edge some color and then use a paper towel to buff out that oil pastel to give it a softer edge to it so it looks more like a shadow than you just took a crayon and drew around it. Okay, so the next thing is I have archival ink in jet black and a small alpha set and I just went ahead and inked up the letters and stamped the word high underneath the word fly. And prior to this particular part, I went ahead and mounted the first postcard on another piece of cardstock so that it would flatten out and give it some nice body. Now I'm using Glastique in gloss and I'm going to be adhering the little leftover bits from the French frame set um, and if you click on the links you'll be able to see that um, it has all these curvy little parts and these little parts are the parts that you actually weed out but I love having them because they're kind of funky and fun and so I use the glass deek to adhere them to the bottom edge of my postcard. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel a little inspired and come up with a postcard of your own, and we would love to see it. Visit us on our Facebook page and share it with us. Show us what you've done. All right? Happy crafting.